Hi, welcome, and in this video, we're going to go over tangent lines through an external point. Okay, so through an external point. So this is referring to when you have a circle, and outside that circle, there's some external point. And we're going to connect that point to the circle um, with, with two tangent lines. Right, so two points of what's called tangency. And I'll start by going over that. So let's say we have a we have a circle, this pink circle, well, purple circle over here, and we're gonna we can pick a point anywhere we want because we're keeping this very general. We're gonna pick a point right here, and we'll call that point P. Now, a former student of mine asked, if you have this point, right, how do you find where it hits this circle? and makes what's called a point of tangency. And all that means, let's just draw that line, right? These, these are what the lines would look like, right here. Now, to find a line of tan or a point of tangency, sorry, what that means is that our radius of our circle hits the point at a right angle. That's what the definition of a, a tangent line is. A, t when a line is tangent to a circle, it hits the circle at exactly one point. I don't know why I chose blue right there, sorry. It hits the circle at one point. And, and where it hits the circle, if we draw a radius to that point, we're going to get a right angle. That's, that's what the definition of a tangent line is. So we have two tangent lines. One right here, this is our tangent line. Right? And one here, this is another tangent line. So what do we do? Well, in this in this video, we're going to use two things to to figure out how to how to build that point and how to make all this make sense. We're going to use what's called Thales' theorem. That's a really helpful one, and I'll go over it very briefly in this video. I went over it in a past video, and we're going to bisect a line segment, um, and I'll I'll talk us through that. But um, the reason as to why that works, uh, or something I went over in a previous video, it's a proof of why we can bisect line seg segments with a compass. And we'll go over that. So, using these one, two things, we're going to show how to make all this work. How do you find those the, the lines of tangency from any random point to a circle? And this is actually, I think, a very enjoyable um, proof here because it's a nice application of Thales theorem. So to do this, let's let's make a new a new circle. Give myself some more room. This time we're going to use green. So we got a green circle. And again, we're we're picking a random point um, because we don't want to be we don't want to confine ourselves to a specific case. We want to keep it general. So you have the center of our circle right here and some point over here. That point's going to be P. And we don't know, right, we know what the tangent lines look like, but how do we construct them exactly? How do we build them so that when they, the line from P to the circle hits the circle, it hits it at one point, and, it, and that, that radius, if we draw it to that same line, we get a right angle. Well, first thing we do is to draw a line from the center of our circle to this point, just like that. And now we, our goal is to find the midpoint of this line. And that's really useful because once we find the midpoint, that means that point P, and let's call the center of our circle C, points C and B will be what's called equidistant from that midpoint. So in other words, we can draw another circle. And then we can use Thales' theorem. So let's, let's get to that. So how do we draw, how do we find the midpoint of this line? Yes, we could use a ruler, but the goal is to use a compass. Uh, and, and the way we can do that is to take the compass, and I, I don't have a compass tool here, but you would open it about two-thirds of the way on the line. So from P, past the half point, about two-thirds of the way, and you draw a little dash with that compass. It will look something like this. Right? And then the same thing, don't change what the compass looks like. Keep it the same width, and this time anchor it at this point, and you'll get another dash. Right? So, let me just go back a second there. So again, Take a compass, and I'll, I'll do a quick estimated drawing of a compass, right? It's got those 
those two lines, it's got the needle point and the pencil point, open it to about two-thirds of the way. And then use that to draw either a full circle or just the dashes of a circle as is customary. Maybe like right here. Right? Dash there and a dash here. This is my estimation, of course. And then do the same thing. Don't alter the size of the compass, but open it from this way. Right? So the anchor points at C. And you get another two dashes. Or you can draw the full circles. And um, what this does, um, once you set this up, you've got these intersection points of these two circles. And, I, and I've gone over this in another video. But to connect these two lines, these two points now, we'll first of all cut CP exactly in half, but we'll, it'll also form a right angle here. So now we've got the exact halfway point between C and P. It's right here. Let's call it M for midpoint. That's a little bit off of my drawing, I'm sorry about that. But the, the idea is that now we have the exact midpoint of CP, so we can draw a circle using our compass at center M with a radius from M to P or M to C. And it will look something like this. Oh, that's This is not easy. I should have definitely probably used a different program here. But this is okay. This is my circle. Sorry about this. <laughs> but the idea is that we have this circle. And now we're basically ready to go. Because what's happening here is that we can use Thales' theorem. This line, this purple line here, CP, is a diameter. And what, C what Thales said is, once you have a diameter, pick any point on your circle. I'm going to pick a point right here, where it crosses our original circle, the green circle. And I'm going to pick this point as well, because I want to find those intersection points. So Thales said that, okay, you pick those points, connect these points right here, and what you have is a right triangle, right? That's that triangle, there's a right triangle. Do the same thing here, and you have another right triangle. And again, I want the details of this in Thales theorem. And now look at that. We're done. Isn't that cool? I mean, here, look at this. We've got, let's label this up here. Let's call this um, T and, I don't know, R. So at point T, right, that's where we're choosing the point on this my terribly drawn teal circle. Uh, point T is where the green and teal circles meet. And that is the point that connects this triangle right here. It's, it's, it's forming a right angle. So our radius right here, CT, hits that line at a right angle. Why? Because that's what Thales proved, that this triangle will be a right triangle, as long as it uses the diameter, CP. And this point right here, R, well, that crosses the green circle, and that's also a right angle using Thales' theorem. That's what's going on there. It says, okay, you have a diameter, CP. Pick any point in the teal circle, connect it, make a triangle. It's a right triangle. So this is a right angle, which means it's the radius crosses this line right here at a right angle. And since these lines are coming from point P, right, they're going, 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 they hit the circle once, going, 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 hit the circle once, from point P, and if we draw a radius to that line, we get a right angle. Well, that's what a tangent line is. So we actually did just draw two tangent lines from a random point. All we have to do to sum that up, connect C to P, these two points. Find the midpoint and draw a circle around that. Draw the diameter, and then using Thales theorem, just pick the points of tangency, the points that the tangent lines hit the circle, and then connect to make your triangles you've, and then you've got everything you need. This tangent line has to hit right? This, this point on this circle at a right angle to the radius here. That's the line, that's the tangent line. And this line right, forms a right angle with this line right here which is the radius of the circle. So you're done and you've formed two tangent lines from some external point from a circle. Alright, that's pretty fun.